Hey everybody, welcome back to Jimmy's Promo, and today we'll be taking a look at the brand new one-handed mode on Samsung One UI 3.0 with Android 11. Now the way that it works and operates is pretty much the exact same, except for it looks just a little different, and so I want to show you the different animations and how you're able to get this to work. If you wanted to activate it with a little swipe, or if you want to use your home button, then how you're able to just fully customize it, change the size, and also move it around. So first off, it is actually in the exact same location in terms of the settings as it was before in Samsung One UI 2.5. So you just go right inside of settings, then you're going to scroll all the way down to where it says advanced features. And inside of advanced features, you're going to see this right here called one hand mode. Once you turn it on, then you can choose if you want it to be gestures or with the button. So as of right now, I don't have the button that is activated. So I will go back and turn off all the gestures if you guys wanna see what it looks like with a button. But first off, let's go through gestures since this is the way that it's set up. So how you're able to bring down the scale, like temporarily bring it down the display size for easier control is that you want to go right around here. Uh, it's kind of, if you think about where your fingerprint reader is, it's below that. It's gonna be just like right there. It's, it's kind of hard to explain because if you go way up here, you're just gonna scroll. And if you're on other pages, you might go through and, and refresh it. So it's right on the very bottom. It's kind of like just the length of my fingertip right there and you swipe it down and it's in the center of the screen so now that you've done that if you wanted to get out of it all you have to do is just simply tap outside of the screen it brings it right back up into one hand mode this little line that bar that's on the very top this is how you're able to drag it to the top or drag it to the bottom and then you're also able to resize it. So I found out that it, you know, it's a little touchy on where you would have to go. Sometimes I almost found if you bring it down first, it activates quicker than trying to swipe up right away. So this is where if you wanted to hold on to it, you don't need it to be the full entire screen. It's an application that maybe there's a lot of icons on the top left hand side that you would like to usually tap. You have a little bit smaller hands. This is just a way to make it a little bit easier. And then this is where you can really save a lot of space, even if you have smaller hands. And if for some reason, if this works just a little bit easier, you can do that. Um, and you also have two icons over here. So if you're left-handed, simply switch it over to the left-hand side, and then you can bring it up or you can bring it down. So let's just bring this one down just a little bit more. Oh yeah, and if you guys are brand new here at the channel of Jimmy is Promo and you appreciate these tips, tricks, and tutorials on your Samsung Galaxy devices, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button as well as the bell for notifications to get notified for all future videos. So since I am right-handed, I'm gonna move it over to the right-hand side. I'm gonna swipe up so I can go right back home. Now everything is as it should, as normal. Swipe down for your notifications, swipe up for your application tray, you know, left and right for everything else. You go, uh, let's say that you are inside of, let's say an application. When you swipe up like this, it's gonna work the exact same way. You can even pull up Samsung Pay from the very middle. Then if you need to go inside of your settings, then you can tap the settings icon. It takes you directly to one-hand mode. So again, I'm gonna get out of it and we're gonna go inside of display and I'm going to switch over into the button navigation. So let's go over inside of display. Then we're gonna scroll down. Let's look for navigation bar. Let's go back to the buttons. So if you are a button user, uh, this is what you will be using. So we're gonna head on back. Then you're gonna scroll right back down inside of your advanced features. This is where you have your one hand mode. Let's go back over inside of buttons. And so this one right here just says double tap for home button. So again, if you want to have your uh, one handed mode, it's a simple double tap. Um, so for a lot of people, especially if you're using the navigation buttons, super simple, a little bit easier to do other than using the swipe you know, function, but I am a big swiper when it comes down to the navigation. So again, from here, you have two different ways to go back to the, the full screen. You can double tap or uh, you can tap on outside of that, that screen. So if you wanted to use the double tap feature again, just go double tap, brings it right back to being big. And that's pretty much it here today for the one-handed mode. But I hope you guys have liked this video. If you guys did, please give this thing a huge thumbs up. Don't forget to hit subscribe. Subscribe right over here in the very bottom left-hand side. And if you like this video, then more than likely you'll also like this video. And I'll see you guys later.